Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my eBay product research strategy for 2023 and beyond. And I'm going to be showing you guys the tactics that I've used over the last few years to generate me over multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue. So to kick things off, I'm going to show you guys the manual method, which is a lot more time consuming and tedious. And then I'm going to show you the product research strategy via a software called Zeek Analytics, which is a phenomenal investment. And I have no affiliation with them, you know, no code for you guys. Just I encourage you to at some point in your journey to check them out and definitely invest in the software because a software that can cost you upwards of $30 a month can generate you $30,000 plus. So it is a incredible return on investment and even much more than that. So to kick things off, I'm gonna go over the manual method. All right, guys, so to kick things off with this video, you're gonna to wanna to obviously look for a product that you can list on your eBay store. Now, doing so, there are millions and millions of products selling on eBay and millions and millions of dropshippers who are selling products actively and making lots of revenue. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is choose a supplier first. Now, retail suppliers are definitely still a viable option in this year and for years to come because there are multiple retail suppliers which have good policies and can still be a good source and wholesale suppliers are definitely a very good option as well to expand on and to most likely have higher profit margins so the two suppliers that i recommend one being retail is walmart.com now walmart.com is still a great supplier from a retail standpoint now, I don't recommend using Amazon. I have used Amazon in the past, and Amazon is strongly against using their Prime and their services for dropshipping onto other platforms. So I have stopped using them for a long time, and I have been using Walmart.com, and, and as well as that, I've been using wholesale suppliers. So, so in terms of a wholesale supplier, I have used Petra.com. Now, you do have to sign up for them and become a partner. And then you'll will gain access to their catalog of you know products, and from there you can list onto your eBay store, and have somewhat decent profit margins. Now the overall brands vary from Brentwood to Kenwood to lots of other brands, and I will say it's a decent catalog. Not my favorite, but definitely worth you guys checking out and becoming a partner to really see what their full catalog is. Now, if you guys want me to do a deep dive on the back end of this uh, wholesale supplier Petra, please leave me a comment so that so that I can make a video strictly on this wholesale supplier. Now, a second wholesale supplier, which I've used in the past, is megagoods.com. Now, their website isn't the most nice looking, but they have a catalog of wholesale products at wholesale prices and they come from California, so it's one location, and it's a decent option for a wholesale supplier. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually look for a product that you could possibly sell. All right, guys, so I'm now gonna walk you through the manual method for eBay dropshipping product research. Now, and as I said earlier in this video, uh, this method is very tedious and a lot more time consuming, but it still works if you're willing to put in the work and you don't want to invest into a software. Now to, again, to reiterate, the software I'm going to show you later on in this video, um, I have no affiliation with, no code for you guys, but I highly recommend Seek Analytics. So the manual method. Now, say for instance, for simplicity, if your supplier was walmart.com and you want to look for a product. Now there are millions of products, um, it could be overwhelming. But basically what you can do is you can look for dropshippers who are selling Walmart branded products. Now, Walmart sells a brand called Mainstays. Now, Mainstays is Walmart's brand. And then chances are, if others are selling it on Walmart, chances are they're dropshippers and you can see what they're selling and sell their similar items, which I've also sold. So for instance, we'll go over here into the search and we'll type Mainstays. And will show us all the items that Walmart is selling under their brand. Now, if we look down and we click on patio and garden, and then say for instance, we see this product right here, mainstays metal round outdoor wood burning fire pit. Now guys, remember, keep in mind, now remember guys that Walmart offers free shipping on items above $35 or more. Now, I highly recommend staying away from amazon.com 
because Walmart is a safer bet moving forward and um, Amazon will ban your account and just close your account basically if you violate you know their policies for you know drop shipping basically because you know they can tell so say say we want to check out this item right here so we see this listing and it's above $35 and it offers free shipping as we can see right here so we're just going to copy and paste the title into eBay because this is the manual method and see what comes up on eBay so we'll go back over to eBay and then in the search results we'll just select and we'll paste and then we'll click enter and we'll see what comes up now this fireplace right here is $37 and on Walmart it's $35 now chances are the seller is either you know buying in bulk through a wholesale or selling a product very similar and using the title so probably not a drop shipper so let's look for potential like okay so it's, okay so this listing so this listing right here is 4690 so if we scroll down and look for other drop shippers you know so if we scroll down and look for other drop shippers that are selling for higher than $40 and probably they're a drop shipper. So we can see right here, um, $46.90, $47.59, almost $52, $43.29. So chances are here are other drop shippers. Now to really see what I've sold, we're gonna wanna go under show only, and then we're gonna wanna select sold items, which will then show us which items have sold. Now if we scroll down, $43.09, Chances are this guy's a drop shipper. And we go a little bit further, 40 or three. Chances are they're a drop shipper as well. So if we scroll back up and we select that listing that was 4309, and we just you know see the seller. So apparently the seller saying, I'm just saying that it's no longer available, but has sold seven of them. So if we select see original listing, we click on that. And it'll show us how it looked when it was active. So if we scroll down, boom. This is a template from AutoDS. And AutoDS is a software to help you dropship and list products, watch pricing, reprice. And this is a template from AutoDS. So 100% this is a dropshipper. So uh, we could just go under on the seller's information and select see other items and see what other items the seller is selling. Now, supposedly they have wow 7,000 listings that's a lot of products so um, here is a great seller we could do um, so here's a great seller that we could dive deep on so we could go under sold items and then here's a full catalog of what their sellers are selling now we have this Hollywood spa this wall clock this adhesive so here's a full list of other products that we could potentially sell and list on our eBay stores and hopefully if there's enough profit we could then make the sale and then in theory make a good profit margin off of that so I would say the seller is really thorough now chances are they're also using Home Depot because of the Home Depot um, gallon five gallon um, uh, buckets so they're probably using a combination of Home Depot and Walmart and probably a few other suppliers as well in one store which I recommend um, staying with one supplier, one or two suppliers per account, but mainly just one supplier per account. So it's not that messy. But yeah, so the seller is obviously, you know, doing something right and making sales. And if only, you know, making enough profit, you know, then that's good for them. So now I'm going to show you guys the uh, software method of Zeke Analytics and how you can really get good data and make good decisions on what products you could list and what products you can stay away from. All right, guys. So now I'm going to give you a walkthrough of Zeek Analytics. Now, uh, there is a link down below. And again, there's no affiliation. I have no code for you, no partnership I have with them at this moment. And basically, I just think that, you know, they're a very great tool and has helped me make thousands and thousands of dollars in profit and in revenue. So I'm going to log in and show you guys Zeek. So Zeek Analytics has a free trial, I believe. And then after that, it's about $30 a month, which is a score for what you actually get and all the data that you get as well. So here's the dashboard of Seek Analytics. And 
Here's an option for store analytics. You can you know save other sellers to reflect back on to check out their store in the future. And here's a section of the eBay weekly best sellers. And um, honestly, I don't ever use this, but it's a good idea to kind of like look through niches that are you know good. So for instance, this office chair wheel set of five. You could then look in this niche and see if it's viable and worth selling a similar product to break in the market and make sales and profit that way. So say for instance, we want to take the same seller. So um, Elite Deals 25, we'll copy his name or her name, and then we'll go under Zeek Analytics. And there's a few options here. There's an option for just product research, for competitor research, for a category research, for a title builder, Zeek Pro, which is a higher plan version. Um, here's an option. You can save other sellers, your products you can save in here, and then a section for training and other videos like that. So if we go under competitor research, we could then scan this seller store in the last 30 days, um, 7 days, 14 days, 21 days, or 30 days. Now for a larger scope of data, I'm going to like select 30 days and we're going to search the seller and see how they're really doing. Oh, okay. So actually, guys, I actually, um, it's a mistake I made. Um, I actually saved or actually selected the seller's store name. However, their actual name is Elite Deals. So if we just select uh, a one of their listings, we could then go under Elite Deals and we'll just select Copy. And we'll take that name and throw it into Zeek Analytics and then scan. And it should work now this time. Yeah, okay, so it worked. So the seller right here, now here's a lot of data. Now here's why Zeke Analytics is so important and so helpful. Now this listing, I'm sorry. Now this seller has about 6,000 listings. And you know in the past month, almost 300 of them have sold, roundabout. And he has sold, he or she has sold 472 items, which has earned a gross sales of $34,000 with an average price of $72. And their feedback score is about 26,000. So here's my product research strategy. Now, my product research strategy is to find products the exact same or, or to list products that are similar to hot selling products. Now, here's my product research search strategy is basically um, at least five sales in the past 30 days with at least four to five sellers only. Now, that's it. Now, what you can do is there's an option to filter. So you can filter. Oh, actually, I kind of, I think I messed up. So you can do, okay, so uh, 30 day, so 30 day sales, we can put the, so at least five sales. And then it will, and then we can do filter. So at least five sales, and it will only show five sales or more. So for instance, this um, Energizer four pack batteries. Now, as I said, um, I list items from Walmart above $35. Say it was a product that was above $35. I was like, okay, five sales and only you know three other sellers selling it. It's worth checking out. So you can actually scan the listing itself and then see that set of data. So we'll uh, select scan title. And then from this point, we can see how it's actually doing. Now, um, out of the three listings, so out of the three other sellers selling it, well, let's see how it's doing. So one out of the three have sold. It's selling decently. I mean, the actual sell through is 167%. The successful listing rate is only 33%, which is low. Um, I aim for above 45%, 40 at least, but above, you know, 45% plus. And again, you know, it's a low selling price, but ideally Walmart, you want to aim for above $35. So um, I wouldn't list this product, but yeah, guys, so this is how you do it. So one, you could either find products, you know, that are exactly the same from a seller. Oh, um, and like, you know, which I do is about five sales or more in the last month with under four to five sellers, not 12. It's way too high. 40 is way too many other sellers way. Um, it's way too saturated. Um, it's just not selling at that. I mean, like 40 is just not worth selling at that point and it's way too saturated. So that's what I recommend doing. And then being able to actually use this data to um, analyze the data and to filter from 30 day range is huge. 
and then say if you want to only do Walmart, right? You could do a price of at least $35, click filter, and then it will further narrow down five sales in a month and a price of at least $35 to really, you know, see exactly what you need to see to, you know, sell and make a profit. So that guys is how it works with Zeke. Um, it's a very, very useful tool. Um, it'll take practice and time to find high quality products. All right, guys. So I want to show you a new kind of tactic that, is, that isn't really talked about much. Now, what you could also do is say if you're either, you know, manually or through Zeke Analytics, if you're just not finding any products, you're just stuck, you are able to find what others are selling lots of and like, oh, I can't find a product. So what you could do is you could look through the overall niche and then check out the niche and see if you can infiltrate with a, a newer product, a lower price, or add more value into a product to then stand out in the market and then grab some of the market share and then obviously make sales and make profit. So so say for instance, if we revert back to this mainstays metal outdoor wood burning fire pit, right? Now the overall niche would be um, outdoor fire pit. So if we come over to Zeke and then we select product research, um, we can just enter in the niche or fire pit, do a search, and leave all the other data blank and, and then we'll see how the overall niche is doing. Because now we're trying to find products which have a good selling point within a niche. Okay, so the niche is outdoor fire pit and sales over the past month have been about 34,000 in sales and it has very, very high search volume from buyers and a very, very high successful listing rate, which is great. And the average price is $87.09. So what we can do is we can filter and see the amount of feedback on the sellers. We can then just lower it from lower, so from lowest feedback up until highest feedback. And we can see which other sellers are selling something decently. And we can basically just scan through. We can see right here, that's open box. That's not good. Um, let's see. Not really good either. Hmm. Obviously, we don't use alcohol in that. That's not good. But say, for instance, let's see. Okay, now say, for instance, right here, this smokeless fire pit, stainless steel outdoor stove, bonfire, fire bowl, wood burning, seven sold in the last month, and a high price. We could then um, scan the title and then see if any other sellers are selling it. And it only has two other sellers. One has sold and uh, one hasn't sold. So what you can do if you wanted is you could check over on your supplier, uh, which would be Walmart, and then you can you know scan and like search for that type of product. So you can search for a smokeless fire pit, see what you know you see, and then if you see one for like a hundred dollars on that smaller or has more features, then you can sell that and make a new title, and then you can just really kind of like you know bring more value in the niche and just sell something like that. So, you know, guys, there's so much to really like look up and kind of like search through. And there's so much opportunity here, you know, because the average selling price is $87. So if you find a product which adds more value or is different than what the uh, majority of sellers are selling, and if, and if you list that similarly, then you can just um, infiltrate the niche and, and you can like, infiltrate the other sellers. And then that way you can just infiltrate the niche and you can come in and bring more value into the marketplace and then make profit and sales that way. So it's really a win-win. All right, guys. So one last thing I want to show you in this video right now. So for an overview, say if you're still you know stuck, you're just not sure like what you can list, um, the software offers a option for a, um, a category research. So if you select that option, then you have all these like, you know, the, um, the categories you could search through. Now it'll show you, um, you know, three stars, two stars, one star, and it's basically which ones have you know more search and more sales. So what you could do, say if you want to go to, to say home and garden, right? And then you know furniture or even yard garden outdoor living. If you select that, you know paste it in the search bar, home and garden, and then you can always adjust the price, the uh, feedback if you wanted to. So you would kind of like you know stop and then like hide all the you know say for instance sellers under five feedback. And then the price, say if you want to set it at $35, so 
So you can ensure that most of your products you sell will be above 35 and you can obviously use the free shipping from Walmart. So then you would search and then now is equal find you all the hot selling items that you can either sell similarly with new products, which are, you know, similar in, you know, um, size bundle, um, similar in features. And then from here, um, you can infiltrate and you know, make sales that way. So if we again filter it by feedback, check from small to high. Now these are all from China. Some are possibly drop shippers, some are not. And you can see here 45 for these LED solar wall lights. Now if we scroll down and look for a US supply or like a US seller, I can see right here, wow, 4,000. Um, let's see, from Germany. Possibly a drop shipper. So this, you know, post light solar powered outdoor LED lamp pillar fence fixture yard um if we scan the title we can see like how many other sellers are selling it or if it's just him okay so six of those sellers selling it hasn't sold much a extremely low successful listing rate sell through is it was extremely low um it only sold one in the past month not good and not worth to list so guys it takes time trial and error to really you know use eek to filter it out and you know, I wouldn't just, you know, post what others are selling, find products which are selling well and sell similar products to that. Now from your supplier, right now, say if you want to go under, you know, say if you want to sell some kind of new um, outdoor fire pit, right? You now within Walmart, there are so many options of other ones you could sell. Now within Walmart, you can adjust the price to, let's say, I don't know. Um, I would say a hundred dollars right? and say, you know, $75, right? So say if you want to sell this one, right? It's similar or this one's similar. Now let's say this one right here, right? Or even this one is really, really cool. You know, say if the market is not now, say if the market on eBay has no other sellers that are selling this, you know, this is like a, um, a tabletop fire pit, glass stone with concrete and and windproof glass how I mean, this is really, really cool so if you market it a certain way if you you know make an offer which stands out from the competition then i'm sure over time you'll get sales and then stand out and really just infiltrate the market and yeah and uh yeah succeed all right guys hope you enjoyed this video um i could always do a more in-depth video on on specific areas in the future hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you guys in my next video